so first let's hear it and then I'm gonna come back and tell you what I'm thinking. As if you were at the throne, if you were at the throne, if you were in the presence of God, if you had gone through the veil and you stepped right into the throne room and you got ready to play for the master, if you were right in the palace with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and you look back and thought where he brought you from, what would you say with the key? Going up. And I just want to bring out three quick points about this video. Um, the first point I wanted to bring up was just the use of simple triads, triadic harmony all throughout this whole thing. This is basically simple triadic harmony throughout the whole thing. Right there, he's just doing he's just doing octaves there. Right, those are just octaves, but then when he keeps on going. And you notice there's a pad, there's a pad playing underneath. You hear that? So if you hear that, there's a pad there. So this would be a piano. And see, and in that part there, So, so the, the triadic harmony is the first thing. The second thing would be um, his use of dynamics. And when we say, what I mean by dynamics is playing with personality, um, giving your music, uh, some people say giving your music emotion, um, but I like to say giving it a story. Um, giving it a story means it has highs and it has lows, right? So it's it's literally personified it's 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 as if music is a person right and so here it's it's playing softer you know and then it gets louder and then it gets back soft again okay you're allowing we have to get away from just it being music just being chords and notes see because it's it's not the core music, the whole point of music, why do you do this, right? Why do you do it? Why are you playing? You're, you're, if you're not playing to tell a story, then why are you playing? You understand what I'm saying? So it's it's your story and, and you have to tell that story. And so it's, it's really not in um, how much you know. I mean, it's, it's in your ability to express what you know, right? Nobody cares if, if the, uh, somebody has a million more words than somebody else, so long as both people can express their thoughts and, and ideas. And so I think, um, you know, in this part here with the use of dynamics, you know, he's getting softer, he's getting louder sometimes. It's following the natural curve, you see what I'm saying? And that gives it personality and allows you to tell the story. Um, it, let, let me see. And I'm just giving my thoughts here. This was not a planned video, so this is really just impromptu. See, so that part there, um, I don't remember what he did. So 
the third thing I wanted to bring up to you um, was about uh, the tempo, uh, not playing with a certain meter time, because a lot of us are so used to that click. We're so used to that click. It's hard for us to get off of it and be able to just play and be able to tell a story. You got to remember something like when you're playing with it and I have nothing we do. We should practice with a metronome. But that has that has more to do with development of timing, which is also needed as a different part of music. But ultimately telling the story. Right. And a story has to go at the pacing that you determine. So you're not a slave to a click. Um, when you tell the story, you know, you don't need the click and you should every once in a while turn it off and allow yourself to. Um, just kind of do a tempo that you want to do. This way you can you can slow down, you can speed up, you can get loud, you can get soft, the dynamics. You can tell your own story. And so that's what's happening here, right? So I, that's what makes this so powerful. And so, you know, those of you who, who follow me, you know I like to analyze these things. Um, and so these are, these are just my thoughts on it. You know, you don't have to have all as many chords as the greatest musician you see what i'm saying all you need to do is learn how to tell your story it's you it's your story you tell it the way you want to tell it and um so i know some of y'all are gonna be trying again some of y'all are gonna be trying to do this song this weekend uh but i i i would challenge you not to do this so i would challenge you to learn it but do your own thing you see what i'm saying find out and you can do your own thing on the spot and and, and tell your own story and, and do that. You know, go ahead and grab MIDI file. It's there for you. You know, I teach musicians on my website how to develop the drop two triads. I got a post on that. You may want to check that out. Um, exactly what he's doing. How to do exactly what he's doing. He's just all drop twos. He's not even using, he's not even doing seven chords. Um, some some chords he goes into sevenths. I heard some dominance and things, but for the most part, he's just using drop two drop two triads. Simple drop two triads. Um, okay, and then as far as dynamics, um, what was the other thing? <laughs> dynamics and tempo, you know, just kind of keep that in mind. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Go check out the site if you want to go check that out and see what I got for you. Development, I'm always trying to develop musicians who are just trying to learn overall, right? It's just about growing as a musician. And um, so you want to look back a month from now, a year from now, and be further than you, you are now, right? And so we have a program for you at the site, so check that out if you want to see it. But thanks again for watching, you guys, and uh, take care. We'll see y'all later.